Welcome to the third part of this tutorial and in this one I'll be showing you how to complete this detailed view in order for you to be able to post comments and also to list out comments related to a particular post. So let's head back to the views.py and over here I'm going to show you something first of all. In the models.py you add the comments model and it's a very simple model with the content, the by which means the creator of the comment, the post the comment belongs to and the um, time it was created on. So we head back to the views.py and currently in our post detail it extends a detail view and we passed in the model and the post. So there's something, there's a new function I'm going to be showing you and it's called the get context data. You pass in the self and the keyword keyword arguments so first of all, where did I get this get context data from? So let's head to the details view and we head to the base detail view. Single object mixing. So we get this get context data from the single object mixing, just like how we got the get object. So it's just um, inserts the single object into the context dictionary. So what it does, it gets the current context. So from this view.py, the one of the values in the context is currently the posts, which we rendered in our templates. So now we can override this um, method to actually include stuff we want, like the comments. So I'll show you how to do that. So like the object, we just do, um, we just do, context equals to we're calling the super the super class version of the context data so we'll call the post detail self and yeah so pretty much that's it for now so the next thing we'll be doing since we have this in our model so let's call the comments. Okay, we've done that already. Import post, then we import comments. So over here, we say, um, let's add the comments into our context dictionary. So we'll call it comments. And what we're gonna do here is comments that objects dot filter and the reason we are using filter so it's going to filter the comment based on the post because if we do comment dot object dot all it's going to list out all the comments um, irrespective of the post we are in so we have to filter it by the post and remember we got this post from if we check the model this post over here which belongs to a post model so comment dot object dot filter dot post equals to um let's see self dot get objects and while self dot get object works if it doesn't work we would have to use this um object variable let but let's see if this works so we are going to filter the comment based on this post and this post is going to be gotten from the current object and for instance now this current object here is the object of yes bro so let's head back and see so let's see. So we then do return context. Yeah. So what we did here, we added the comments into the context variable. So if we head to the templates, it means we have access to the comments um, variable. So let's do a for empty for cmc in comments oops for cmt in comments we display so yep 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 cmt that's by CMT that's created on, I think, let me check if I'm correct. Okay, by created on then content. The 
and the last one would be cmt dot uh, content. So if there are not con if there are no comments for a post, we just output the we just tell them there are no comments yet. So this should work. Let's see in our views, we've added this comment into our context data. We feel that it's based on the post. So let's see if this works. Voila, it's currently working. There are no comments yet. Uh, let me just add, yeah. So that is that. So currently, if there were comments, it was it's it's going to show you the comments. So let's see. Yeah. The next thing would be to make this form functional. So to achieve this, we are first going to create. We're first going to create a form for it. So forms.py. So we're going to create a comment from, so from Django imports forms. Then we'll have a class of comments form. We're just going to extend form.model. Thinking correct, yeah. So we we'll have the meta class to define the model. Let's cross check in. Okay, yeah. Everything is okay. So we have the model, and the model is going to be comments. Well, first of all, we also have to import it from models, imports, comments. Then we also have the um, fields, which is going to show up. And currently, we just need the content field, I think. Yeah, let's check. Yeah. We need the content field. So we'll go to our views.py and import it from forms, import comments form. So let's go down and see. Mm, okay. Um, context that form. We are adding a form. going to be comment form. Yeah. So let's go to our post detail templates and let's remove this dummy data we added. Because what we currently see now, this form we currently see here is just a dummy data. So we're going to be using, since we have access to the form CSR first of all, then we have um, the form which we passed into the context dictionary. So we have the form that as P. So let's go and refresh and see if it works. So yeah, it currently works because this data now, if you look here, it is rendering based on the form we passed over here. So, um, so far so good. We have the, um, objects we have the form and we also have this uh, comment list but how do we make this form work so there are lots of ambiguous way of making this actually work but i'm going to be showing you guys a, a simple technique to actually make this go easily so we'll be creating a new class so we'll be creating a new um class-based views for this form to actually work. So we'll create a new class and we'll name it, um, let me see, comment form, I think. 
that is okay and it's going to extend uh, the form view uh, which I'll talk about uh, right now form view so since it's a view that's going to handle just the processing of the form it's going to extend form view and let's check out what form view does let's go is this a good idea let me name it comments view I think this is better okay oh no posts comments post comments <laughs> okay so let's head off to form view so the form view um, extends the template response mixing and the base form view which is this over here and also has the form mixing and the process form view so let's check out what the form mixing does so a form mixing, a mixing that provides a way to show and handle a form in a request. So it needs a form class and a success URL. Uh, let's see. Let's give it a form class. So we'll go over here and form class equals to comment form. Then what else does it need? Let's see. It's gonna need a hmm, template here. Yeah. If it doesn't need it, we remove it. So it's gonna need a template because it's a separate view. Uh, I don't think this is cool. And it's gonna need the same templates, which is blog forward slash post detail. That's HTML. It might be redundant. We'll check that and we'll remove it as we progress. So since this is a form view, let's see what this form view also form mixing does for us. Let's see. Get success URL. Mm -hmm. Form valid. If the form is valid, redirect to the supplied URL. So let's override the form valid method. So form valid it's gonna have we've done something on form valid before just like in the post creates so if the form is valid let's see the contents we want to pass in the by that is the person that commented the form commented um, on the post so just like this we could just copy this because it's this pretty much the same thing. We'll copy this. Then what else do we need? We need to get um, the posts, which this com um, comment was um, posted on. So to get the post, let's see what we can do. Let's first get the post variable, which is going to be um, post. We're getting from the model. Post.object. Um, gets this current post and the pk is going to be equals to um let's see uh self dot the keyword arguments which is going to be gotten from the url keyword args and that is pk so the post is going to be the current post of the view we're looking at that means it's going to be this post, this um, yes bro post, for instance, if it's some other post, it's going to get it too. So based on the primary key, which is this. So you're getting the post based on that primary key. And let's see, uh, form, I remember this form is the comment form. Form dot uh, instance dot post would be equals to this post we just created over here then as i said before you do the form dot save right then what else we do we'll just uh return i just copy okay let me just let me not be lazy <laughs> okay super calling the super post comment Self then found valid and we call the we call the form. So yeah, let me see. So we have the form valid and remember from this we also have the get success URL. Normally let's scroll up and see. We can just 
provide the URL if it's a straight up URL, but this URL, I want whenever I comment, it should redirect to the same post. And to do that, uh, we have um, an argument in it, so which is the primary key. So I could just override this get success URL and do whatever I want to do with it. So I think we should override the get success URL, get success URL and what parameter does it take? Okay, just nothing, self. Then um, we are gonna return reverse, reverse, did I import reverse? Let's see, oh no. Okay, so I import reverse. So uh, it's gonna be post underscore detail then we're passing the uh primary key arguments let me see reverse okay okay and okay so we're passing the keyword arguments which is equals to um the primary key and we get that by saying self just that keyword ads Yup, yup. Yeah, just like this above. So, I think we've made progress so far. So we have a separate view for, and I think this is, at this point, we should rename this one for, we should rename this class-based view as um, post display, not uh, post detail again, because this is just to display the post. So I'll go here and change post display, have to be careful with this so I won't forget one. Okay, so this is post display, yeah? And this is for the post comments. So this one, we're doing separation of concerns right now. So post display is for presenting um, the data while post comments is for processing the form. So those are two separate views for processing the form. So the next question would be, how do I bring both of them in? How do I bring them together? And that is pretty very simple, like um, we did in this dashboard view. So we'll be doing something similar like this. So we'd we'll go to and, and create a new, we'll create a new uh, class-based view called post detail. Post detail. Oops, oops, oops. And it's going to extend the view class. So we're going to do something like we did up here. Should I? Let me just copy and paste this. So I won't repeat myself. So this is how we're going to bring the two views together. So I'd have to. And we pretty much understand what's happening here because we've done that in the previous video. So this would be post display. So whenever we call a get, whenever we load the page, it should call the post display, which displays um, the objects, uh, the post object, the form, and also the list of comments. So that is what happens when we do the get. Then when we do uh, the post, I will just copy this too. So when we do the post to we'll change this, let me give it a space in. So when we do the post, it's gonna be, uh, let's see, post comment. So you guys get um, what I'm currently doing. So for the get request, it does the post display. Then whenever I click the whenever I click the submit button, which is a post, it gets the post comment. So yeah, pretty much this should work. So yeah, let's see. So let's go back to this and refresh. Okay, so, so far so good. You see this is a totally different um, 
view that is rendering because we use the post detail which does this unlike the previous way we created it so currently the get is working that is why we can see this so let's check if the post is working so let's um comment uh sub bro nice post yeah so let's click submit and see oh okay um it works we just have to um let's see post comment we just have to do this let's go again and see Oh, I keep on forgetting this to put the action. I keep on forgetting this. I'm very sorry about that. So let's uh, So our comments there are no comments here currently. So I comment nice one and click submit. to add post silly silly mistakes silly 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 mistakes good one okay so this is progress so not no constraint field blog comments by id let's see I, it's, it's supposed to be by, not author. Over here, it's supposed to be by because of the model. The model states here by. I don't know if that's a good naming, but it's supposed to be by. So from dot instance dot by, it gets this um, current user by using um, self dot request dot user. So let's go over here and see. So. Super post keep it up man then we click summit yup 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 so it works so we can see the new comments by admin so super post keep it up so uh, one thing to note uh, in my post details you always have to add your form action so if this was some other url you have to put the url tag and redirect but this since you're processing this form on this template to put it this way then also watch out for your models the naming you don't uh, you always have to go back to check in case you forget any naming so um this is currently working if i log out and log in although we've not implemented the login view i'm logging in based on the django admin so i think we're going to do the login in the next section the login and logout and it's going to be strictly class-based views so this currently works and if i go back home let's see some new posts there are no comments yet wow really cool then we click summit and the comment comes up if i add another one nice yeah so we can see the app is pretty much working so let's go back and just do some explanation although i believe i hope you understood what we've done so far so we created the post display which this code is pretty much the old code we just changed it from post detail to post display then we got the we used um we overrode the get context data in order for us to add this comments the list of comments and also the form which is the comment form then we return the context data then for the um uh processing of the form we created a new post comments um view that extends the form view and we passed in the form class and the template name then on form valid we pretty much add the by and the post 
which is going to link up um, the current comments with the user commenting it and the posts the comment is um, going to. Then always remember, remember to call the save method. Then the success URL will pass in the keyword argument, which is just the current um, primary key of the object. So finally, we created a new post detail. Then on get, it calls the post display, which just displays um, the context data. Then whenever we post and whenever we click submit, it calls the post comment. So pretty much this is separation of concerns and that power has been given to us by the Django cl um, generic class based views. So is there anything I'm going to touch in this video? Let's see. Okay. There's pretty much nothing else. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to um, create the login and the logout view and I'm going to be using Django's inbuilt um, generic class based views for that. So see you.